If you could travel back and change one thing, if you had a time machine, yeah. what would that be? He does have a time machine. I do have a time machine. Computer, turn on the time machine. Oh! <laughs> time machine is on. Let's cut to a wide shot. Oh. All right, computer, turn off time machine. <laughs> Hello? Anytime now. Computer, turn off time machine. There we go. All right. That's the time machine. That's all it does. It just lights up. All right. So if I had a time machine, if I could go back and change one thing, what would it be? Um, I don't know that I don't know that I would because that's I've had a lot of time thinking about this question. I've thought about this for months because I built a time machine art project at Burning Man. And that was the question that I wanted everyone else to ask, right? Like, what is this fantasy of time travel? Why is it that we fantasize about seeing into the future and preventing certain catastrophes or maybe planning out some sort of uh, win, uh, investment or whatever, like seeing into the future and just scoring big or looking back in the past and changing some of these hard grievances that, you know, these memories that have like weighed down on us, right? Those things, you know, uh, those are the things that shape you. So those, the past trauma, it kind of makes you who you are. So if you were to take away those things, would you still be you? I don't know. That's, that's a larger question to ask. Um, but uh, I, the interesting thing is that I did leave uh, inside the Time Machine Art Project that we built, we left little pieces of paper for people to write down where we asked this question. So we had about 200 responses, and it was incredible. I mean, the amount of responses that we got that were, like, people, for the most part, you know, they wanted to spend more time, they wish they spent more time with their kids, or they wish they didn't, um, they wish they spoke to their father uh, and buried the hatchet before he got sick, right? So, like, all, like... They had all these these things that were so valuable and so meaningful and important. None of them were, oh, I wish I invested in Apple in 1980. You know, like it was all relationships and personal stuff. So um, I don't know if you've seen that, like the dying wishes of people with, you know, cancer or whatever on their, on their deathbed and they're living back their regrets and whatever. Almost all of their answers are uh, the same. And it's all, I wish I spent more time with my family, wish I didn't work so hard, wish I'd, you know what I mean? It's all personal relationships. I think that's the same thing. That's probably my answer. How did you feel when people left these responses for you? Like, were you sort of overwhelmed that they trusted the process enough or, I mean, they didn't really well, I mean, know they, it was a sense of autonomy. So these people were leaving their answers without any other information. So I, I felt like, or there was a sense of privacy. So they were, they, no one was going to judge them. So they were incredibly private with their responses. And I felt, I felt really lucky. In fact, at first I wanted to include their responses or read them off in my, my video that I did about it. But then I felt like that might've been a betrayal. So I kept them for myself. I still have them. And I don't know if I'll make something from them one day or, if, you know, I read them from time to time. Um, but I mean, there's some powerful stuff in there. Um, because it's on paper, right? So there's no Wi-Fi. There's no way anybody can come and hack in right. and, and see yeah. the answers. So. Yeah, you just it was a it was a little mail Dropbox. So you know, it was great. I mean, there's also a couple of uh, dick pics in there as well. Oh, well, that's great. Well, dick drawings. Yeah. <laughs> it Good is ones. Morning, I mean, man, so. there's probably only one person that did it, and he did it mo numerous oh, times. Just, just two. Don't. There's like three or four. I was like, wow. <laughs> and he got better at each one. You know what I mean? Hey, you got a bunch of artists there. They're bored, you know. I, I, I still kept those. Those are great. <laughs>